A lot of you guys have asked me, I said, Gerald, how do you record your screen? And every time I say that I use the free software to record my screen, people were like, ah, free software. Yes, I actually love free things more than the paid ones, you know. Maybe you are like me. So I'm going to be introducing you to this completely free software called OPS Studio, right? And I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how to get it for free. It's completely free. All you need to do is to download this software, install it on your computer, and set it up, right? A lot of you guys have complained, I've gotten OBS, I can't set it up. I'm going to be guiding you through everything you need to know about OBS in today's video. So this is going to be a step-by-step -step OBS tutorial that's going to help you start recording your laptop screen in case you want to make videos like mine where I record my laptop screen right now I'm recording as I'm teaching right now yeah so in case you want to make videos like mine where you record your laptop screen to do tutorials I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do that so all you need to do is to stay with me from beginning to the end of this video as I'm going to be leaving those turn at on and most importantly I want to encourage you guys to smash the like button on this video subscribe to my channel and most importantly turn on the bell notification button so that when I drop more amazing videos just like what you're about to watch right now YouTube is going to send you a notification instantly and if you have any questions at all let me know in the comment section or just go ahead and say thank you gerald for this obs project tutorial and i'm going to be appreciating that so that's it guys let's go to my laptop screen now right now and let me show you guys how to download install and set up obs so you can start recording your laptop screen right now so here's what you need to do if you click on the first link in the video description it's going to bring you straight to the obs project website which is what you're looking at right now on my computer screen so once you come here um, you're going to be seeing the fact that this is OBS Studios, right? And it, OBS actually open broadcaster software. And guess what, guys? This software is completely free. Right here, it says it's free and open source software for video recording and live streaming. Yes, you can actually use OBS to live stream as well. So this is what we're going to do right now. If you're on a Linux computer, you're going to click on this place. You're on a Mac computer, Apple computer, click on this place. And you're on a Windows computer, I'm going to click on this place. For me right now, I'm on a Windows computer. So I'm going to click on Windows right here, right? And this is going to, it says download. Thank you for downloading OBS Studios. And this is download happening right here. So it says one download in progress. OBS is being downloaded right now to my local computer. So what we need to do is to wait for this download to finish. Then we're going to jump into installing it. And of course, after that, we're going to be setting it up. Okay, so it says done right here, which means that the download has finished right now. So it has completed downloading, right? So what we're going to do right now to click on this box and it's going to open my download folder and this is it right here. So what I'm going to do right now to install, we've actually downloaded. Next thing right now for us to install and let me walk you guys through how to install. So this is it right here. I'm going to, I'm going to just double tap this guy. Okay, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? This is OBS trying to be installed into Windows. I'm going to say yes, right. So welcome to OBS Studio 29.1.3 setup and all of that. So I'm going to hit next. I'm going to hit next again here. I'm going to hit install, right. And the solution process is working right now. Okay, beautiful. So it says complete the setup, launch OBS, view release notes. So I want to launch OBS right now. I'm going to hit finish and OBS that has been installed is going to be launched on my computer right now. And so we have downloaded. We have installed next thing right now to actually set it up so it will start working and i'm going to be showing you exactly how to do all of that so auto conversion information optimize for streaming uh, recording a secondary optimize for recording i will not be streaming i will be using a uh, only virtual camera now for me i do not stream with obs i record with obs which i is i suspect that's that's what you want to do as well so i'm going to say optimize for recording i will not be streaming so i'm going to say next right so this is, I'm going to leave everything the way it is, the resolution and all of that. I see a higher, okay, so this is the highest resolution. I'm going to leave it now. I'm going to next, right? So uh, this, this, I'm going to say apply settings and OBS has been set up right now. It has been set up basically, right? So the next thing we need to do right now is to set up OBS so we can record our screen. Right now, it is not recording anything. If we hit record, it will not record anything. It will not work. So we need to set it up right now to start recording. And this is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to come here where it says sources. The sources where it's going to pull data from. That's why it's asking you right now. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to come here and hit this plus button here. And say, come to audio input capture. Audio input. Inputs. You know, inputing. So I'm going to say, create new. Audio input capture. Create new. I'm going to say, okay. So default. I'm going to select the, diff the microphone of my computer. Right? Which is what is showing up right here. Usually just one thing is going to show. So I'm going to click on this. Select this and hit OK. Right, and the microphone comes here. Audio, in, this is the microphone right now. So I'm going to say, hello, 
hello you see this thing as it's responding because it's actually actually getting an input from my voice right so it shows that it's working the next thing is the screen that is going to be recording where is it going to be getting it from so i'm going to come here and hit this plus sign i'm going to say display capture right so which is the display of your computer it should capture it that's what it's saying basically so i'm going to click on display capture create new okay i'm going to say okay now this is it this everything that's on my screen right now it's capturing it I'm going to say this is fine automatic method or this or I, I always use automatic right I'm going to say okay this is fine right so this is the capture is being created you see everything on my screen is being captured right now by OBS but it is not recording yet you are coming to that in a little while so the next thing for us if you want to put an image of yourself uh, on your screen right so you can actually do that by coming here and say video capture device this one right here put it put it here I say okay you should use your webcam to capture. You see, it's capturing me right now as I'm talking. So you can actually come here, your white camera. If you have other cameras, you can do that. But I have just one camera, right? I can I can I can connect my external camera to my laptop, and it's going to show up right here. If you want to record with your external camera, but that's fine. I want to record with your webcam right now? So we're going to select our webcam, which is this, and I'm going to say OK, and my webcam shows here. So you want to make it smaller? You can actually make it smaller. So you want your your picture showing uh, on the top left top right bottom right or bottom left wherever you want your pictures to show why you are recording this is exactly how to do that right we have set up obs right now easy peasy free easy right it's completely free and this is what i used to record 100 percent of all the videos you see me showing my screen this is what does the job obs right so right now i want to start recording i've, I've done everything i want to start recording well, what i'm going to do is to come here and click on start recording right and see, see, it's counting right now. It's, it's recording my screen, and everything that I'm saying right now is being recorded, right? Now, I can leave the OBS screen and go play around on my laptop. This is being recorded right now. So, if you come to um, browser and come to OBS, this is being recorded right now. Anything that you play, you, you put on your laptop screen, OBS records it automatically, automatically, right? It records everything. Everything right here is being recorded including this uh, bloggers mastermind course that i did with daniel sozo right everything is being recorded right now so let's say i'm done recording what i'm going to do is to come here right and click on stop recording right and obs stops recording you see he has stopped recording but he has saved this what he has recorded for us right so where did he save this thing that's another question you might have where did he save this thing let me show you come here go to files and go to show recordings it is going to take you exact everywhere. This is all the videos I've recorded over time. Because this is what he just recorded right now. 20 seconds, right? This is it. Right? What he just recorded. So if you play this right now, it is going to play on OBS. We're recording right now. Always on my screen is about slash EMC. To show you in part. Right? It's recorded. The FMC loading my feet already on the You see how easy that was, right? Very, very, very easy. Super easy super easy now let me show you something else which i normally don't use on obs right and i'm going to be telling you why i normally don't use it but you might want to use it let me show you that so if i come here to set if i go come to settings from here or you can go from file settings so i can come here to file to settings rather click on settings and it's going to open this interface so it shows me hot key that's what i want to show you hot key right so you can set set a key that you want to press on your keyboard and it starts recording and you press another key it stops recording now the problem with this is that sometimes when you click you think that you have clicked it and when you click again <laughs> so you waste your time talking to yourself and nothing was actually recorded that is why i normally don't use it right so let's where's recording start recording you can actually put uh, your cursor here and select maybe r for recording and stopping recording s for stopping recording so whenever you press r on your keyboard it starts recording whenever you press s on your keyboard it stops recording but what i do is i record everything what am i editing i cut and you know chop it up right you can split files here you can unpause you can post recording on post recording you know buffer you know everything uh, uh, start virtual camera and all of that right so you can actually use this to set, set your hotkey there's a whole lot of them you scroll down your shell of them you can mute your mic unmute your mic push to mute push to talk and you know stuff like that right basically you can actually do all of this now Another thing that you can do with OBS is to control where your files are saved. I can do that with outputs here. So for now, my files are being saved at uh, on um, on um, on, my, on the videos, right? On my video, that's where it's being saved. You can actually browse, you know, um, recording MKV. MKV is not the widely accepted format. You know, there are some players that cannot play MKV files. 
even um um uh, Premiere Pro dot cannot read MKV files. I, if I can find out correctly, the one I use right now cannot read MKV files. So you might want to change this to a to MP4 or or MOV or you know whatever. Then we might want to change this to right. As a matter of fact, I think I want to change this to MP4. Yes, right. I'm done setting no OBS, so you can actually begin to use OBS to record right now on your phone. So if you have any other question about OBS, let me know. As a matter of fact, in my last training, YouTube training, a lot of you guys asked me this question, and that is why I actually put upon myself to actually make this video for you and every other person that's on this YouTube channel looking for how to actually start recording their screens for videos that they want to put out on YouTube. So this is exactly how to do it. Let me know what you think. Let me know your, your comments. Let me know your questions in the comment section. Okay, just go ahead and say thank you, Gerald, for this OBS tutorial. I'm going to be appreciative of that. And if you've not done that already, I want to encourage you guys to smash the like button on this video, subscribe to my channel, and most importantly, turn on the notification button so that when I drop more amazing videos, just the way you're watching right now, YouTube is going to set the notification instantly. <laughs> I did that on purpose. So what I'm saying basically is that you should actually smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, and most importantly, turn on the notification button. So that when I drop more amazing videos, just like what you just watched right now, YouTube is going to send you a notification. And if you have any other subject that you want me to make a video on, let me know in the comment section and I won't hesitate to actually do that for you guys. So I want to thank you for watching this video from beginning to the very end. I want to say a very big thank you to you again. And until I see you in my next video, keep winning. And don't forget that Gerald does love you guys. Bye from here, guys.